Stadium News. Yeah. Stadium News. I'm just grateful that he got out here. You know, this was his last public appearance. No way. Yeah. It was? Mm. Yeah. Wow. I think this was his like, last year? official public appearance was here at the tribe. Wow. Go ahead. All right. So, um, just like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for coming forward to uh, talk to us about your event. Um, I don't think it's any, you know, um, lack of coincidence that we're here on this day. Uh, we passed him by a great leader, and we're here in Suquamish. And uh, um, so, with that, I think we can. Um, I'd like to start um, with a little prayer, if we could. Yes, we and, can. Um, Please. And then we can do our introductions. So, I don't know, Sam, are you up for it? Yeah, so. Okay. Dear Grandmother, Grandfather, we thank you for this day. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for our blessings. You know, bless, bless up our loved one that passed on to the other side today. You know, uh, guide him nurture him, look after him as he makes that transition to the next life, and just, you know, help make that a good trip for him. If you can also bless up our people going on this walk here coming up, you know, and uh, really make sure their feet stay strong, make sure they stay uh, with you in spirit, and keep them strong, and get their endurance to get them there safely and just really guide them, look after them, nourish them, and take care of everyone involved. Uh, Thank you. Okay, well, I'm Leonard Forsman. My ancestral name is Squeagle. Have a seat. And I'm um, chairman of the Suquamish Tribe, and I'll go ahead and start the introductions down here. By Rob. Rich Purser. Sammy Nigel Lawrence. Uh, Loser Wills. Robin Saigo. Bardo Lewis, I already introduced myself to you guys. Wendy Anderson. And Wendy's our assistant travel member as well. Sir. Myself, Hunter Siegel. Uh, well, Vishka Kaike Jishnikas, uh, White Hawk from White Earth, Minnesota. Our center is Shane Combs. I'm Della Crows, Homish Tribal Elder. And uh, Della participated in the original Homish Walk uh, planning. Patty, well, yeah, when she was in Los Angeles. <laughs> wow. And in the back there? My name is Avril. I communications for Leonard. I'm Wayne George. I'm executive director for the So I wanted first to uh, have you guys go ahead and talk about the uh, reasons you're here, and then um, we can have a little discussion and get uh, things moving. Well, I, I had on this past walk, um, this past year, um, me and Dennis always hear quite a bit of things out there about um, helping other people, and um, so that's why I'm a Ojibwe, Ojibwe guy from Minnesota that came out to support you guys with the salmon, because the salmon, I believe, is like the wild rice, and that the salmon die, and we die, and without the salmon, you guys probably wouldn't have been as strong as you guys were as a nation, just like with the, white rice, uh, the wild rice carried us through, and the buffalo to the people of the rest of the regions, you know, it's very important. And then uh, talking to some people up here, um, they, they've spoken that the whales are very important to us. And so we've incorporated the whales, but it's more about having people come together. The walk is about the salmon and, and, and the creatures, but it's more like I want to be the needle and use the people and the animals to weave a beautiful rug. And uh, I'm trying to unite people, one people, one planet. That's all Dennis has ever taught me, and we've been talking about this for many years. So. Um, instead of like standing in the background, I thought I would step up and come up to the West Coast. I literally put everything in the Creator's hands, not having the connections and the people out here. Um, my brother was born in Klamath Falls, um, Oregon, so I know how important the salmon are. And I thought I would come out here and, and meet you guys and, and walk for one another. And um, that's pretty much why I came here. It's pretty what are the logistics like right now? For the logistics friends? are, it's probably the craziest uh, walk we've ever been on. We've uh, mm -hmm. undertook this challenge to go 1,008 miles in 23 days. And you're starting? We're, we're going to start um, in Seattle Wednesday, and we're going to end up on Thanksgiving Day at Elk Island. So um, it's going to 
be a tremendous challenge getting us down there. And, um, you know, we just put it all in the Creator's hands and want to love our brothers and sisters out there and make connections and have long-lasting relationships with people around the United States. And uh, what I learned at Standing Rock looking at the water, it was like people are always talking about what the water can do for them, water's life. But looking down into the river there every day, I was thinking, if the things in the river die, we die. And it's important that we um, protect the salamanders and the fish and the aquatic plants and everything that the Creator's made for us. Um, we really need to um, take a look at what we're doing to the environment and to the earth because uh, we need to leave some clean air and clean water for our kids and our children's children. Uh, who are we as a society to be able to take that away? And I think the Native Americans should be up on the forefront of these issues and um, fighting for what we believe in, you know, this Mother Earth that we, we're on every day. And uh, it's just a tremendous honor and a privilege to be here in front of uh, you guys today. And uh, thank you so much for having us and giving us a chance to speak. And um, thank you, thank you very much. What day are you leaving Seattle again? Wednesday. We're gonna, uh, we kick off at Westside Park downtown at 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Westside or Westlake? Westlake. Westlake West Park, Park. Park, yes. At 3 p.m.? At 3 p.m., yeah. And we have about we have about, we, we have about 15 walkers and about 15 runners. And they're coming from all over the United States. And we even have uh, Buddhist monks coming all the way from Tokyo to walk with us. And it's important that I have all four colors of medicine. We all have African Americans, I'll have white people, I'll have Native people, and I'll have um, Oriental people there, yellow people. So. It's important to have the full medicine wheel there. It's time for us as a society, with what's happening in Vegas and Charlottesville, that we just kind of love one another and, and care about each other. And um, So that's what I'm trying to do. Were the monks with you today? Uh, they were already here. Yeah, see and them yeah, 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 they're coming back. Yeah. They they're started the walk early or something? Or? No, I don't think they ever come off a walk. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, so. they're, very, they're very, very special people. Gotcha, gotcha. They're yeah. very, very special people. So we have a... Uh, Three monks from Bainbridge Island are going to be walking all the way across, and then we have people coming from, I think one's coming from uh, Taiwan, and two people are coming from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of different um, struggle now than what it was back in the 70s, because in the 70s we were talking about land rights, fishing rights, water rights, and it's kind of, you know, now it's kind of, it's changed a lot since back in those days, and um, I really feel that if it wasn't for um, Dennis Minks and, um, uh, that we wouldn't be where we're at now politically and um, have our you know our own gover governments and have a lot of rights that we do have. I really kind of feel it came, it started with him and the, the American Indian Movement and you know. That's the truth. Yeah. Um, and I talked to a lot of young people. We take it for granted what Dennis did yeah. with his friends. And I talked to a lot of young people a tribal people and they don't even know who Dennis Banks was. And I said do you guys even know who Dennis Banks was? No. Do you know who Russell Means was? No. And I'm shocked. I'm just shocked that people don't know who they were. But today, lifestyles and just everything's going so fast and mm. a lot of people forget what happened in the 70s. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm really shocked at that. I was very surprised. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I think we're going to have, you guys want to go up to the gray side? Yes. I have something set up at the museum. You have a guy get you over there. And maybe right. April, you get help. So we're going to go ahead and close. There's no objections, and Sam, you're going to help us out. Yeah. And I just wanted to preface this when back in 08, when um, when um, Dennis first came out, uh, a lot of the people that are a lot of our singers, and a lot of them are part of Sacred Water now, and Sammy's a skipper of Sacred Water Canoe, um, were singing up at the graveside, and I was walking up there with. Uh, with Dennis and uh, they were singing some songs and he just was so moved by it that he said, you know, I want these things, I want some of these songs sung when I pass over. So mm -hmm. I think the fact that we're here today is oh, uh, oh. no coincidence at all. So I just feel good. It makes me smile because I had that time with him mm -hmm. and I didn't forget. And I was a young, I was 12 years old when that was all coming down, but I didn't forget about it. And I have other people around me. Everybody around here knows who Dennis Banks is. Mm -hmm. and so yeah, We never forget people. It's so, the younger generation. You know, it is. But I mean, that just means we have more work to do. Yeah. We've got to do some curriculum and get our teaching our kids about it. And we've got a lot of history here. 
So I'd like to thank everybody in this room and everybody around us that supported uh, those two visits that he made here and have supported everything. Because everybody's working on a little piece of his work. You know, even if it's just showing up for work this morning and doing what, the, what job you have in front of you, that's what he wanted. So with that, I'll go ahead and let Sammy uh, finish this yeah, off. He said, no, he said no tears. He doesn't want anybody to share any tears for him because he wants people to celebrate his life because he said he just had an awesome time working for his people and mm -hmm. he's lived a very, very blessed life. So he told me to tell everybody to celebrate his life. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk for him, make him proud. So uh, for this part, I'm going to ask you to cut the no camera film. off. No please. filming, please. Um, so this song, I'll share I'll share a couple verses of our... Uh, so once again, I'm Sammy May of um, Suquamish Tribal Council, but I'm also the skipper of the Sacred Water Canoe family. And this is one of our family songs, and it's a traveling song. Mm -hmm. And so I want to send that up for Dennis today and also for you all that are going to be walking mm -hmm. because there's, there's definitely some travels going on uh -huh. and, uh, to the spirit world and then to Alcatraz. So I just wanted to explain what this song was. And then I'll sing a couple verses and then leave the other couple for you guys to take with you inside. Mm -hmm. 